Hey guys, and welcome back to Jaleesa's Fashion Files. In this video, I'll be showing you all my weekly at-home nail and manicure routine. Part of the reason I wanted to share this with all of you is because I came across a recent article that stated 8 to 14 visits at the nail salon over a 24 to 42 month time period could actually damage your skin and increase your risk for developing skin cancer due to the UV lamps or dryers used, especially if you get the gel manis. So watch the rest of this video to learn how to get a fast drying and long lasting mani at home. Okay, so first things first, I'll be using the Ciate Acetone-Free Nail Polish Remover. I highly suggest you use an acetone-free nail polish remover because acetone can actually cause irritation of the respiratory tract eyes and it can make nails brittle and weak. So I'm using this one which actually smells like white chocolate, it smells so delicious and it is infused with vitamin E which helps increase nail growth and vitamin B5 which helps strengthen nails. Okay, so the next step is going to be to shape them into the way that you like. I personally like them square, so I square out the top part and then I round out the edges. And I'm just going to continue this step with the rest of my nails. Next, I'll be applying this cuticle remover all around my cuticles on each nail, leaving it on for about 45 seconds. If your cuticles are thick or you have a lot, I suggest leaving it on for a bit longer, then wash it off with some water. Then we'll be using a cuticle pusher to push back the cuticles that have now softened after applying the remover. Try to push it back as far as you can, especially if you have shorter hands or fingers since the more nail that's exposed, the longer your hands will appear. Next, we'll be using a cuticle cutter to cut the cuticles um, that we have pushed back. You'll notice your cuticle uh, is like the thinnest and lightest part of the skin around your nail so that you can avoid cutting your actual skin. Now we'll be exfoliating our hands to get rid of the dead skin and to help soften them. I personally love this one by Shea Moisture because it helps with my eczema, but you could of course use some things that you have in your cabinet, in your kitchen, like sugar and honey. So after we wash off the hand scrub and dry our hands, we'll be using a three-step nail buffer for smoothing, then buffing, and then shining. This will actually help the nail polish adhere to the nail, making our manicure last longer. Next, we'll be moisturizing our hands with lotion. If you absolutely must go to the nail salon, at least bring an SPF lotion, not a sunscreen, a lotion because it has a thicker consistency and will help moisturize your hands. Um, that will at least also protect you from the UV light. And then next, I'll just be cleaning underneath my nails to get rid of any dirt. This next step is extremely important and that's applying a base coat. I absolutely love this one by Orally because I really do feel like it helps the nail polish adhere to the nail and it helps prevent chipping. Next, I'll be applying my nail color and it's Essie's I'm Addicted from their new Neon collection. And I'm just going to be applying a thin coat to each of my nails and then I'll be applying a second coat. I don't suggest applying a thicker coat the first time because when you apply your top coat, it's just going to dry with those air pockets and bubbles and it's just going to take longer to dry and it's going to look like a hot mess. So just uh, apply a thin coat and then if you want a stronger color payoff, then you can do a second or third coat. Just make sure that you give some time to the nail for it to dry a little bit before you do your second and third coat. After waiting about five minutes for my second coat of polish to dry a little bit, I'm applying this top coat which actually does help the nail polish to dry even faster. You just want to make sure that you apply a thin amount because if you apply too much it's actually going to dry uh, with those lumps and bumps and it's actually going to take longer to dry in general. So you want to make sure that you wipe off your brush and that you don't get too much on your nail. If you're really on the go, I suggest spraying some oil out of a can onto your nails. This actually does help your nail to dry faster and it's a great alternative than using one of those finishing sprays for your nails that have like all these chemicals in them. So you can just spray oil on them, apply it to all of your nails and you should be good to go. So that concludes the video guys. Of course it's going to take some time to get used to it, but once you get in the swing of it, it'll be fast and easy and safer for your hands and nails. Until next time, don't forget to stay beautiful, confident, and true to your beautiful selves.